So I design and manufacture electronics, and we do all our manufacturing in Shenzhen and the surrounding provinces in China. We took a long time and made a lot of mistakes by not really understanding, again, these sort of intricacies of what goes on in business in China. I think certainly this course could help is explaining to people not only from the language side where you can have a better and warmer understanding with people and have a warmer relationship with people. An announcement to let you know about the launch of LSE's first executive education program on Chinese language and cultural business. So this year program... But understand again the subtleties of business and what sort of makes a difference between you're more likely to get a successful result and uh, what the problems could be and understanding the potential problems that could occur with sort of different cultures and the, the change of culture going into China. It's always great to sort of come to these events and meet people and A, sort of network with like-minded sort of Chinophiles, Sinophiles as they are, and uh, understand from people, but also to sort of hear from very prominent people, very interesting people. I mean, the CEO of a major, I think the largest bank in China, he said he was. So to see where he forecasts the sort of Sino-UK relationship and what's going to happen, and then sort of little maybe some tips on policy and ideas on what's going to happen in the future. So for forecasting, it's, it's very useful.